How to install apps slash packages in Linux slash Zorin. Tutorial links in description. Zorin OS is based on Ubuntu which is based on Debian architecture. Therefore it uses .deb package things to take care of while installing an app or package. Point one your system architecture 32 64 bit 2. Your OS, OpenSys Debian Arc etc. Use Synaptics package manager to manage, install slash remove, packages slash apps. You can install software in Zorin slash Linux OS through one. Software store you can discover a world of apps for Zorin OS from the built-in software store point two. .deb files some third-party apps can be downloaded from the web in the form of .deb install files point three. Windows apps Zorin OS allows you to install many Windows apps using the built-in Wine runtime. Please note that not all Windows apps may be compatible with Zorin OS point four. Install a repository slash ppa four. Install a repository slash ppa. Command line, some app developers create a repository for their apps in Linux. By adding a repository, new versions of the app automatically become available as software updates. What are repositories? A software repository contains software packages. What are PPAs? Personal package archives, PPA, third party community supported packages 5. .tar.gz files Some third party Linux apps can be downloaded from the web in the form of .tar.gz source packages. These packages are usually not ready to be installed as they must be compiled beforehand. Point 6. A image, aka the closest thing to .exe files on Linux, app image is a format for distributing portable software on Linux without needing super user permissions to install the application 7. 7 Flathub Flatpak allows developers to look at Linux as one platform, not only among different distributions that use different package. Once set up, you can browse and install from an app center, like GNOME Software or KDE Discover. Alternatively, you can browse and install apps from the website or using the command line. Point 8. Snapcraft snaps are contain Arist software packages that are simple to create and install. They auto-update and are safe to run. And because they bundle their dependencies, they work on all major Linux systems without modification. As you can see there are many ways of installing an app slash package in any Linux distribution. I'll recommend a image cause it is the easiest way but you need to update apps manually. Links are in descriptions to help you learn your favorite method. To install an app slash package there are three methods, tutorial links in description, 1. Remove app through the software center 2. Remove it using synaptic manager 3 using command line, cli, sudo apt get purge remove, package or app name, 